Hello and welcome to Team Liquid's strategy guide series for Amir Drasil, The Dream's Hope. I'm Aya and today I'm presenting Telegon's breakdown of the mechanics and strategy for Heroic Gnarl Root, the first boss in the instance. Gnarl Root has a biphasic fight structure, rotating between a main active phase and passive intermission phase. After each phase cycle, the boss gains a stacking buff that causes him to deal 10% increased damage for the remainder of the encounter. In the main phase, Garden of Despair, Gnarl Root periodically causes a cross of swirlies centered on his location that upon resolution deal damage to anyone within the ground effects and spawn lasher adds. On Heroic, these adds begin dormant and must be activated with a mechanic called Controlled Burn, which displays a targeting circle centered on several players, exploding and dropping aerial denial called Shadow Scorched Earth six seconds following application. This aerial denial awakens any dormant lasher's hit and will disappear at the beginning of the intermission, so you shouldn't be overly concerned with the reduction in play space. You will want to awaken dormant lashers with each cast of controlled burn to minimize the amount of adds you must fight during the intermission, as any lasher still dormant when the intermission begins will become active. Whenever a lasher awakens, it deals a small amount of damage to the raid. However, if no lashers are dealt with before the intermission begins, these stacked hits could easily become deadly. As a result, we will spend most of Phase 1 planning an efficient way to assign players targeted by Controlled Burn to activate and deal with Dormant Lashers before the intermission while dealing with the boss's other mechanics. The Lashers themselves target random players and apply a stacking bleed and 10% damage taken vulnerability called Shadow Spines. This can be removed by any abilities that remove bleeds such as Cauterizing Flame, Blessing of Protection, Stone Form, and immunities should they happen to be available to you. The boss has a very crafty frontal mechanic called Shadow Flame Cleave. For a first boss, this frontal resolves extremely quickly. You will want to make sure you have an emphasized notification for this mechanic through either weak auras or big wigs, as well as positioning in such a way that you'll always be able to avoid it, especially if you're playing a ranged character. In this phase, tanks deal with a mechanic called Dreadfire Barrage. The boss shoots five missiles at the active threat target dealing combined physical and magic damage that debuffs the player with a stacking 24% Shadow Flame damage vulnerability. At current damage level, simply swap tanks for each cast of Dreadfire Barrage, aligning a defensive CD with each cast. When the boss reaches 100 energy, the intermission phase called Agonizing Growth will begin as the boss casts Potent Fertilization. This ability creates a puddle of death beneath the boss to prevent you from moving through his model while spawning a cross of doom roots centered on his location and activating any remaining dormant lashers on heroic. During this phase, the boss deals pulsing damage while channeling in the center of the room. At this point, four splintering charcoal circular soaks will spawn with one between each doom root. Soaking this debuff will give you five stacks of the ember charred debuff. The debuff applies at five stacks and touching a doom root segment with your character model will set the root on fire and remove a stack. If you do not remove all five stacks before the debuff would fall off, it will refresh to five stacks. Once all the doom root segments are set on fire, the boss will become stunned for 20 seconds by uprooted agony, which causes the boss to take 100% increased damage for the duration while pulsing heavy raid damage every five seconds. After the uprooted agony expires, the boss will return to phase one. It's likely you'll want to lust either the first or second of these burn phases depending on boss health. This likely depends on cooldown timings lining up with these burn phases and when the boss enters execute range. Since we have control over our time spent in phase two, it's possible we will want to manipulate that time for more favorable cooldown lineups. When it comes to healing in the main phase, the boss deals raid damage periodically with a spell named Tortured Scream, which has an initial hit and damage over time component. It's also worth mentioning that Controlled Burn ticks for 150k every second for the duration of the 6 second debuff. These players should be prioritized for targeted healing. In Phase 2, players soaking Splintering Charcoal and gaining the Ember Chard debuff should be prioritized and healing cooldowns should be assigned to Uprooted Agony. With that, we very much hope you found this guide useful. Please feel free to leave feedback or commentary below this video, and make sure to keep your eye on this channel as more guides will be coming out soon. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.